Me too. Touching his paw, he doesn't really like me doing that. Hi. How to get scratched. <laughs> um, so it is Monday, not sure the exact date, I think the 18th, but so far for reading, nothing's happened, but it's fine. So. I I'm reading my new crush gave to me. This is a light YA holiday romance. I am, I am 63 pages in and I like it. It's fun, it's fluffy, very predictable. Like I didn't even read the back, but I know what's gonna happen because it's romance. Like I just, <laughs> it's predictable, um, which I mean, it's white contemporary. They're kind of all predictable. <laughs> but then I read the back and I'm like, oh, it just says it right on the back. But I mean, <laughs> I still knew it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope to read more of that before bed. I currently have stuff to do so it is nine o'clock and I took a nap today because I slept like a few hours last night so I came home and I napped for a while so it's currently nine um, I have been up for a while um, I have a video currently uploading that you can't see um, this one's uploading like it's gonna be scheduled and then I have another one that just finished rendering so those are all the videos that I have filmed that I have to edit yeah, so it's done. Save complete, yay. So that's done. Um, so I'm gonna start editing this vlog tonight just cause I wanna get ahead on video stuff and I just finished replying to Goodreads messages and business emails. So those are done, um, which is great. <laughs> I always like getting ahead on that stuff. I'm just excited cause Christmas is a week from today. So that's super exciting. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, sorry for not updating you yesterday, but today is Wednesday and I have a few updates for you guys. So I just didn't vlog yesterday just cause I was in a bad mood. And I was like, if I come on camera, I'm gonna be super bitter. So I didn't, but today <laughs> I'm a little bit better. So I thought, why not? And so for a reading update, I did end up finishing um, my new crush gave to me, Shani Petroff or Shanae Petroff something like that um this is just a cute holiday romance story and it's about this girl who basically has a foolproof plan to get this guy that she wants for christmas to go to this party with because you need to bring a date and that's what this story is about i really liked this i could re relate in ways to the main character about her, her schedules her plans i'm very much like that too and how not leaving things up to fate and just being like if I want this, I'm gonna go get it, or I'm gonna plan to go get it. So that's kind of, I could relate to it. And I've never really read about a character like that before. The writing was solid, just the story was very cute. Like I really enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna give it around like a 3.5 or a 3.75. It was a really like, fun Christmas read, so I would suggest it for that. Then in the mail, I got sent um, illustrated poems, and this is by Scott M. Meaner? Menner? Meaner. I'm so bad with names. <laughs> the author contacted me and wanted um, to send me his book in exchange for an honest review. And basically this is a bunch of poems. Um, he gave me a little note in here too, which is really sweet. Um, basically it's a bunch of illustrated poems that are from a bunch of different illustrators all around the world, which is really freaking cool. Um, artist information, yeah. So there's people from Italy, from South Carolina, from Czech Republic, from Taiwan. Uh, California, Aus Australia, um, Nevada, Spain, Romania, London, Victoria, Canada, like it's so cool. So this is just an example. Honestly, it's so pretty. The only thing I'm worried about is like some of the cursive font. Well, not this one, this one I can read, but some of it, I'm just a little worried <laughs> how eligible it's gonna be. Um, I mean, I can read cursive pretty well. Nah, actually, I actually think I should be good. Just there was a few, there was one page that I was a little worried about, but I'm really excited to read and review this. You guys know I love my poetry, so I am excited to give this one a read. Um, yeah, see, I can read this sort of, but also on one hand, not really, but 
once I look at it closer, I'll be able to see it properly. But yes, I'm very excited for this. This is really pretty. I think I'm gonna read this for Cramathon, or I'm gonna read it randomly at some time this week. I don't really know, but I'm really excited about it. So yes. It is Thursday. I just filming. I just finished filming about four videos, so I'm tired. <laughs> but I thought I'd give you guys a reading update. So I told you guys I finished my true love gave to me, my new crush gave to me, um, and I read something last night. So I'm gonna talk about it a little. So I wasn't planning on reading this right away, but I ended up starting and finishing the illustrated poems by Scott M. Menner, Meaner, something like that. <laughs> um, so again, thank you to the author for saying this to me for exchange for an honest for in exchange for an honest review, and I did end up really liking it. I'm not sure of an exact star rating at the moment. So what I did in the book was the yellow ones are my favorite sto like my favorite poems, and then the orange is my favorite illustration. So some again have both. I definitely had some favorites in here. Um, I didn't love every single poem, and I thought a few of them were kind of just traditional but there was some good ones in here the only thing I'd say is if you're if you can't read cursive or certain types of calligraphy you might have trouble like a few of them I had trouble reading um just font like I put a bunch of sticky notes in here saying stuff but just font like this I could not read <laughs> for the life of me um well this one was okay I actually could read that one a little bit um my favorite by far was this page with the illustration and the poem so pretty I love this so much um, this one was another favorite, Sonnet to Love. This one was really good too. Overall, there's a beautifully made book. Like, look at these illustrations. Dang. So, I really love that about this book as well. Just again, there was just a few. Like, yeah, this is beautiful too. Yeah, this was beautiful. There was just so many in here that I really loved. Um, Blue Bird Blues was really good too. Um, this illustration oh my god <laughs> so pretty like I was astounded by some of these the only thing is this calligraphy with this image I could not read this <laughs> girl I could not read this um, like I could not read this so if you have trouble reading cursive you're gonna have trouble here with this book which I'm usually good at reading cursive but this type of calligraphy I couldn't read it like honestly it hurt my eyes <laughs> But other than that, it was full of beautiful illustrations and poems. So I don't know. I think I'm going to give it around a 3.5 or 3.75. I did really like it. So I definitely would suggest picking it up. Um, I think it's a beautiful book and it's really well done. And I love how so many artists contributed to this. And I think some of the poems are really solid and really lyrical. And some of them rhyme. And it's just beautiful. Hey guys, it is now Saturday. So I apologize for not updating. It's been a bit, but... Um, I just wanted to say that, well, one, happy holidays. Um, this video is going up on Christmas Eve, so I'm editing it tonight and putting it up for tomorrow morning. So I really hope you guys are having a fantastic day if you're watching it the day of and that you just have a fantastic Christmas if you celebrate. But yeah, I hope just you're having a great time. And I know I mentioned it in the video that's going to go up on Christmas, but just thank you guys so much for everything this year. And I'm really excited for content in the new year. So thank you so much for all your support. We just hit 8K, so thank you phone um it means the world to me so thank you and i just want to give you guys a, a reading update so by the end what is today today's saturday so by christmas i'm i will 
probably have finished my current read which is the afterlife of holly chase by cynthia hand and i am on page i'm i have like 100 pages left i'm on page i'm on page 287 so i just have that little bit to go and i really like it so far it's actually like I might do a review on it when I finish it, but I'm actually really, really liking it. Like, it's really interesting. It's not what I thought. Um, it's a Christmas Carol retelling, but that's all I knew about it. So there's kind of more to it. There's a romance involved, which I'm all for. So um, it better, <laughs> there better be a happy ending or else I'm going to be angry. But yes, so that was my reading update. So basically, basically I finished two books and three quarters of one. So almost three books this week, which I'm pretty happy with, especially because the week's technically not over. But yes, let me know what you guys read this week and how your Christmases went and all that in the comments, how your Christmas Eve is going. Um, I know like maybe not a lot of people are gonna be watching this the day of, um, the day it goes up, but if you are, thank you. And comment a star down below if you're watching it on Christmas Eve cool um oh and look at my cat <laughs> okay um me ready hi ready 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 Um, sir, that is my camera strap. No, no, N no, no, sir. Thank you. 